We're gonna start out with a square piece of paper. This is a square piece of paper because all the sides are the same length. Now here is a challenging part of this lesson. We're going to fold it twice. First, we're gonna fold it like this. And I hold on, I try to get my uh, corners matched up. Hold on to it in the middle and watch this. I'm gonna go across like this. Make a fold up, make a fold down. Ooh, that's a pretty straight line. Then we're gonna challenge ourselves even more. This is gonna be difficult, but I think you can do it. Fold it in half again, hold it down. Fold up, fold down. When I open it up, look at that, I have three lines. One, two, three. Now, since you guys were able to do that, we're going to flip our paper and fold it again. This is going to be challenging because it's already been folded. So take your hand, put it down so that you can bend it this way. Finger down, holding it down, pull across, fold up, fold down. Can we do it again? Woo, it's gonna be challenging, let's do it. Fold it in half, try to get those corners together. Fold up, fold down. All right, that was definitely a challenge. Let's move on to the next step of this project. Okay, now with a drawing tool, you could use a marker. I'm going to go ahead and use a crayon. I'm going to draw on top of the lines that I have folded. So I'm gonna take my crayon and go from the very top all the way down to the very bottom. I'll do this for every single line. Now I have my three lines. I'm going to flip my paper and do the other direction. All right, I'm going to do an AB pattern right across the top. I'm going to use these pieces of paper to help me out. A, I'm not gonna put anything. B, I'm gonna put a piece of paper. A, B. Now on our next row, we're going to switch it up. So this time, I'm going to say B, A, B, A. So B, we decided we're putting paper. A, B, A. Let's switch it again. Now we're doing A, B, A, B. A, B, A, B. And the last one, we're doing B, A. So B, A, B, A. What does that look like now? I think it looks a little bit like a checkerboard. Now we're going to use our paints. You could use watercolor paints, or in this case, we'll be using tempera cakes. In order to use tempera cakes, you need water. Your brush is going to dip into the water, bring that water over to your color, and mix it around so that the color, or the paint, gets saturated with water. Be gentle with your brush. Wherever you do not have a piece of paper, you're going to paint the square. I have a piece of paper, so I'll skip over that one and go right next door. All right, now I've painted all of my A spots. I'm going to pick up all the pieces of paper that I had on my B spots. Now wherever it's white, I'm going to choose a new color. Make sure that you rinse out your brush all the way. Wipe it off gently and carefully. Choose a different color and add the water to that. Now, any place that you have a white square, you're going to add your new color. 
If it accidentally touches the color next door, that's okay. Don't panic. Just keep moving on. Now I have let my paper dry quite a bit. So it is completely dry. I can bring my hand right across it. I'm ready to move on to the next step. We are going to use oil pastels to create some shapes and lines to make designs. I'm going to start out with a line. So I'll use one color and I'll go on all my A spots. Remember that A is the pink in this case. I'm going to start out with a line. I'm going to do an X. I'll do that to all of my pinks. All right, now I'll choose a new color. This time I'm gonna choose red. And I'm going to create a shape now with my lines. What shape did I add? A triangle. I'll continue doing this. I'm going to choose one color at a time and I'm going to create a shape or a line in every single space. This time I'm going to try to do my blue, my bees. All right, look at that. All of my A's are exactly the same with exactly the same colors, lines, and shapes. All of my B's are exactly the same, exactly the same with the same colors, lines, and shapes. That's what makes a repetitive pattern using A-B pattern on our checkerboard artwork. 